What's going on, Lake of the Ozarks? It's your guy, Will Holtz, and it's time for another edition of our LOZ Feature Doc Series presented by Jonathan Hartenstein, broker and associate with Lake Ozark Real Estate. And on this episode, we're at the 10 mile marker as we meet up with Andy Sarid, and he's gonna tell us about his all-American dream story, how he got to this point, show us all the incredible toys on this killer dock built by Ozark Barge and Dock. Let's head down and meet up with our guy, Andy. JR here, broker associate with Lake Ozark Real Estate. How about a custom dock at the lake house of your dreams right here in the beautiful villages at Shawnee Bend? Or maybe even your own slip at the iconic Topsider condos in the heart of Osage Beach. Whatever your lake dream, I can make it a reality. But that can wait, because it's time for another edition of the LOZ Featured Dock Series on Lake TV. Now, Andy, we're here on the dock, and so before we even get into this incredible dock that we're sitting on, I wanted to let the viewers just have a little inside to you, your family, your story. So tell us what you do and kind of how long you've been coming to the lake. My first trip out to the lake, a uh, friend of mine, Sean Baker, invited me out. We did a guy's trip in 2008. Just had a great time. As Soon as I got out of the car, I walked right down to his dock and didn't even go into the house. And uh, I said, wow. My wife and I started coming out right after the 2008, and Sean said, you can use my house anytime. So during the winter, my wife and I came out quite a few times and he invited my kids out. So we got to experience the lake multiple times on Sean's dime. And I said, why should we buy a house if we could just stay in this beautiful place, right? right. But I thought he might catch on. So uh, we ended up uh, in the downturn of the economy uh, looking for a house. And this house is our first house that we bought and we'll probably keep it for a long, long time. And we love it. You know, fast forward to about three years ago, we ended up building this dock. We've had just so many great times. Our kids are 28 and 31 and they love it. Their friends love it. And it's really a gathering spot of family. That's awesome. So you talked just a little bit about your company. Can you share with us what you do, what your company does? Yeah, so we uh, manufacture uh, commercial industrial lighting products for class A buildings, hotels, anything that you could think of. Everybody uses lights, right? Yeah. So any place that you walk into and you look up, they're a potential customer of ours. I started right out of high school, actually, in 1983, selling light bulbs on straight commission, door to door. Wow. And uh, it was all history. Guys, this is gonna give a, a little hope for all of us. The guy started selling light bulbs from door to door and today he's given us a sneak peek inside this incredible dock so first I guess we're in the kitchen so start here tell us who built this dock you told us it's about three years old uh, and kind of some of the features because something tells me we've seen a dock real similar to this before yes you did so I got to give credit to Sean Baker once he got his new dock I was just in love with that dock and just how practical it was for our lifestyle. So we basically took Sean's, took a lot of pictures and then Vicky has a great eye and great attention for detail. And then we came up uh, with what we thought would work for us. You know, I know that Ozark Barge and Dock did Sean's dock, so I'm guessing they did this yeah. dock with you. Steve and his staff, they're incredible to work with. Yeah, they did a great job. Well, I love just, just how much space there is for hosting. And so tell us some of these custom features, like this countertop, this island right here is incredible. I love the cabinets that you've got tucked away behind the automatic slide down door. Tell us about some of those. We'll start with the roof. So the roof has eight to 10 feet above the roof, but we wanted to enclose it to make it a little more homey and, and warm. So we brought the roof down and put the TNG in, you know, put lighting in and speakers. Osage Granite did the granite. They did a great job. We had, you know, the kitchen cabinets built. I love the color. I love that you've got the TV with the sink and this this is in incredible. Now we look over here, there's so, so much sitting area, but what I'm drawn to is all the space over there as well as all of those toys. So let's head over there and check some of that out. Let's do it.
All right, so now you mentioned three dock slips. I noticed the three different boats. So what boat are we actually sitting in? This is a Lancer 22. It's a Chris Craft, the 2007. Been well maintained, and this boat is Vicky's boat. My wife loves it. It's our happy hour cruise. We take it out pretty much almost every day during the week. It's only 22 foot, so we take it out when there's calm water, and yeah. we'll go up to tap and grill or maybe for dinner, but uh, really sometimes we just do a sunset cruise. It's perfect for that. I could even start it up and take you for a spin if you want to tonight. Oh, that would be awesome. You got time? Yeah, I got time. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Coming up on the LOZ Featured Doc Series presented by Lake Ozark Real Estate. Oh, I love it. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, yeah, you gotta watch out for the snake. After this. As you dream of your lake life, I invite you to dream bigger. Top Cider Condos, the coolest place to live at the lake. So what do you think? Your dream of living in luxury at Lake of the Ozarks could be but one phone call away. I wouldn't wait. Top Cider. time at the lake is limited and at Sir Dyke Yamaha we understand that so that's why we offer boat and wave runner rentals at two convenient locations fueled up shine and ready to ride whether you need a tri-tune for your group a ski boat for the family or a couple Yamaha wave runners to ride the waves Sir Dyke Yamaha is ready and waiting for you see the lake of the Ozarks with a rental from Sir Dyke Yamaha book online now at sirdykeboatrental.com it's lake season, and that means fun on the water at the Lake of the Ozarks. But that also means it's bug, spider, and cobweb season. And Aquapest Solutions can get you ready for the season. Specializing in boat dock and pest control services, we can cover your dock, your yard, your home, and business too. So let our team at Aquapest Solutions do the job for you. Our treatments are eco-friendly and approved to spray over the water. So let's get rid of what's bugging you. Aquapest Solutions. Give us a call or visit us online to find out more. Polylift Boat Lifts. Boaters everywhere have relied on Polylift Boat Lifts to raise their boat up and out of the water time and time again. Polylift Boat Lifts are made of the finest materials and offer a lifetime warranty on the tanks. Stop by Polylift and see the huge selection of wet steps, water toys, and dock accessories. You can even shop online at polylift.com. Polylift Boat Lifts. You know what they say. We got to build boat lifts. We build Polylift. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Exclusive lake luxury is hard to come by nowadays, but that's exactly what's available at the Villages at Shawnee Bend. Whatever your lake dream, the Villages can make it a reality. Stake the claim to your lake paradise in the lake's premier luxury home development, the Villages at Shawnee Bend. First, Andy, thanks for taking me out in the boat. That was awesome, the Chris Craft. Nice little classic, but we got two others. And so you gotta tell me about these two and why you like these two boats, because I understand there's a little bit of a, a reason for each of them. The Mastercraft's great, it has a great wake. It's a 2008 XT45, and that is a fun boat. The kids uh, love wake surfing, I love wake surfing. It has a purpose, and that's really what that boat is uh, for, is skiing in wake surfing, and probably put more hours on it in the 10 days or so the kids are here in the summer than the whole rest of the summer. So that's the Mastercraft. 
Now how about this beautiful Bennington, man? The Bennington is also a 2018. I knew that I needed a bigger boat for the lake and something to handle the water, so we did the Tritune. It's my second Bennington since 2010. Uh, it has a 300 Yamaha, but it's a great boat to head down to the reserve or down to um, Redheads. We frequent quite a bit and it could handle the rough water. That's a boat that you can have more people on comfortably. Definitely. And, and so that's pretty phenomenal. Yeah. All right, now I noticed that you guys have a massive living area as well we didn't touch on over here off to the left. So you guys kind of built that with that in mind as you guys love to host, love to have big parties. For sure. Yeah, we definitely needed the sitting area. My wife wanted a good spot to read. She's a big reader and loves uh, coming down here and hanging out in the living space, whether you want to belly up over to the counter with no backs or you want to sit in the sitting area, you know, you've got both and there's plenty of room for plenty of people. All right, now I also see some other like standing paddle boards. I see a couple of sea dews. So who uses all of these that are down here? Everybody does. So uh, the paddle boards are always a big hit. I probably paddle board three, four days a week. Sometimes take my lunch hour when I feel like I'm got to get away for a minute and working too much inside. The kids use it all the time. The jet skis, you know, I take them out, the kids take them out, and they're 2008, believe it or not. Now, Andy, another thing I wanted to hit on, some of the custom features like these automatic doors, these storage units, and these dock boxes. Talk about some of the things you've done on your dock that you don't see on a lot of docks down here at the lake. So we definitely, Sean, you know, I asked him, Sean, what are the do's and don'ts? So he said, definitely you need the countertop because when we're entertaining, you know, there's a lot of food and you need spots for it. So the countertop comes in real handy in storage. You can never have enough storage for the life vests and, yeah. and the skis and all the equipment and all the things to wash the boats and keep everything clean is uh, stored behind the electric doors. Okay, now a couple other things I'm starting to notice. You got like the wet steps and the platforms. Can we go over there real quick? Because I'm interested about the stairs down into the water. Sure. All right, so these steps right here that all these snakes are sitting on, what do you guys get to use this for? So this is a easy in and out when we're kayaking or paddle boarding or just want to float in the lake. And uh, a lot of times we'll put our mat out here and float on this side and it's just easy step down. Yeah. Well, I've noticed Dodger is like super water savvy. He was comfortable on the boat. Uh, so does he get in the water? You could put the paddle board down and he's the first on. Oh, really? Yeah, and he enjoys it. All right, so over the years, you know, you've been coming down here for about 15 years now from your first time stepping foot uh, at Lake of the Ozarks. Do you have a favorite moment or memory that stands out to you that you're like, man, I will never forget that day or that weekend or anything special? Just all the memories of the family being together. There's a 4th of July that I remember that the four of us, sat on those steps right there and took a picture and it's just a great memory. I remember that like it was yesterday and it was one of our first 4th of July's. The kids were young, the kids were little. Yeah, there's so many memories. One year on the 4th of July, you know, being from California, you don't like fireworks in California, not with those fires. So I was lighting off fireworks on the old dock. I lit off a um, bottle rocket and the beer bottle fell over and that bottle rocket chased my family around the dock and we all ended up in the dock locker and so did that fireworks. So that's another great memory wow. of just family, but just the ongoing memories with the family and the friends. That's it's awesome. really the simple stuff. Well, Andy, man, thank you so much for allowing us in, letting our viewers get a little inside to you, your family history, and ties here to Lake of the Ozarks. The dock is unbelievable. So I can't thank you enough for having us, man. Anytime. That's going to do it for this edition of the LOZ Featured Doc Series presented by Jonathan Hartenstein, broker associate with Lake Ozark Real Estate. Until next time, my friends, I'm William Holtz with Lake TV.